Multimedia, Wikipedia article audio. Multimedia is content that uses a combination of different content forms such as text, audio, images, animations, video and interactive content. Multimedia contrasts with media that use only rudimentary computer displays such as text only or traditional forms of printed or hand produced material. Terminology Major characteristics Categorization Usage slash application Creative industries Commercial uses Entertainment and fine arts Education Journalism Engineering Mathematical and scientific research Medicine Associations and conferences Multimedia can be recorded and played, displayed interacted with or accessed by information content processing devices, such as computerized and electronic devices, but can also be part of a live performance. Multimedia devices are electronic media devices used to store and experience multimedia content. Multimedia is distinguished from mixed media in fine art, for example, by including audio it has a broader scope. In the early years of multimedia the term rich media was synonymous with interactive multimedia, and hypermedia was an application of multimedia. The term multimedia was coined by singer and artist Bob Goldstein to promote the July 1966 opening of his light works at El Arson show at Southampton, Long Island. Goldstein was perhaps aware of an American artist named Dick Higgins who had two years previously discussed a new approach to art making he called Intermedia. On August 10, 1966, Richard Alberino of Variety borrowed the terminology, reporting, brainchild of song scribe comic Bob Goldstein, The Light Works is the latest multimedia music cum visuals to debut as discotheque fair. Two years later, in 1968, the term multimedia was reappropriated to describe the work of a political consultant, David Sawyer, the husband of Iris Sawyer one of Goldstein's producers at El Arson. In the intervening 40 years, the word has taken on different meanings. In the late 1970s, the term referred to presentations consisting of multi-projector slideshows timed to an audio track. However, by the 1990s multimedia took on its current meaning. In the 1993 first edition of Multimedia, Making It Work, Tavon declared multimedia is any combination of text, graphic art, sound, animation, and video that is delivered by computer. When you allow the user the viewer of the project to control what and when these elements are delivered, it is interactive multimedia. When you provide a structure of linked elements through which the user can navigate, interactive multimedia becomes hypermedia. The German language society Gesellschaft für Deutsche Sprache recognized the word's significance and ubiquitousness in the 1990s by awarding it the title of German Word of the Year in 1995. The institute summed up its rationale by stating has become a central word in the wonderful new media world. In common usage, Multimedia refers to an electronically delivered combination of media including video, still images, audio, and text in such a way that can be accessed interactively. Much of the content on the web today falls within this definition as understood by millions. Some computers which were marketed in the 1990s were called multimedia computers because they incorporated a CD-ROM drive which allowed for the delivery of several hundred megabytes of video, picture, and audio data. 
that era saw also a boost in the production of educational multimedia CDROMs. The term video, if not used exclusively to describe motion photography, is ambiguous in multimedia terminology. Video is often used to describe the file format, delivery format, or presentation format instead of footage which is used to distinguish motion photography from animation of rendered motion imagery. Multiple forms of information content are often not considered modern forms of presentation such as audio or video. Likewise, Single forms of information content with single methods of information processing are often called multimedia, perhaps to distinguish static media from active media. In the fine arts, for example, Lita Lusliuakan S. Modulart brings two key elements of musical composition and film into the world of painting, variation of a theme and movement of and within a picture making module art an interactive multimedia form of art. Performing arts may also be considered multimedia considering that performers and props are multiple forms of both content and media. Multimedia presentations may be viewed by person on stage, projected, transmitted, or played locally with a media player. A broadcast may be a live or recorded multimedia presentation. Broadcasts and recordings can be either analog or digital electronic media technology. Digital online multimedia may be downloaded or streamed. Streaming multimedia may be live or on demand. Multimedia games and simulations may be used in a physical environment with special effects, with multiple users in an online network or locally with an offline computer, game system, or simulator. The various formats of technological or digital multimedia may be intended to enhance the user's experience, for example to make it easier and faster to convey information. Or in entertainment or art, to transcend everyday experience. Enhanced levels of interactivity are made possible by combining multiple forms of media content. Online multimedia is increasingly becoming object-oriented and data-driven, enabling applications with collaborative end-user innovation and personalization on multiple forms of content over time. Examples of these range from multiple forms of content on websites like photo galleries with both images and title user updated, to simulations whose CO efficients, events, illustrations, animations, or videos are modifiable, allowing the multimedia experience to be altered without reprogramming. In addition to seeing and hearing, haptic technology enables virtual objects to be felt. Emerging technology involving illusions of taste and smell may also enhance the multimedia experience. Multimedia may be broadly divided into linear and nonlinear categories. Multimedia presentations can be live or recorded. Multimedia finds its application in various areas including, but not limited to, advertisements, art, education, entertainment, engineering, medicine, mathematics, business, scientific research and spatial-temporal applications. Several examples are as follows. Creative industries use multimedia for a variety of purposes ranging from fine arts, to entertainment, to commercial art, to journalism, to media, and software services provided for any of the industries listed below. An individual multimedia designer may cover the spectrum throughout their career. Requests for their skills range from technical, to analytical, to creative. Much of the electronic old and new media used by commercial artists and graphic designers is multimedia. Exciting presentations are used to grab and keep attention in advertising. Business to business, 
and inter-office communications are often developed by creative services firms for advanced multimedia presentations beyond simple slideshows to sell ideas or liven up training. Commercial multimedia developers may be hired to design for governmental services and non-profit services applications as well. Multimedia is heavily used in the entertainment industry, especially to develop special effects in movies and animations. Multimedia games are a popular pastime and are software programs available either as CDROMs or online. Some video games also use multimedia features. Multimedia applications that allow users to actively participate instead of just sitting by as passive recipients of information are called interactive multimedia. In the arts there are multimedia artists, whose minds are able to blend techniques using different media that in some way incorporates interaction with the viewer. One of the most relevant could be Peter Greenaway who is melding cinema with opera and all sorts of digital media. Another approach entails the creation of multimedia that can be displayed in a traditional fine arts arena, such as an art gallery. Although multimedia display material may be volatile, the survivability of the content is as strong as any traditional media. Digital recording material may be just as durable and infinitely reproducible with perfect copies every time. In education, multimedia is used to produce computer-based training courses and reference books like Encyclopedia and Almanacs. ACBT lets the user go through a series of presentations, text about a particular topic, and associated illustrations in various information formats. Edutainment is the combination of education with entertainment, especially multimedia entertainment. Learning theory in the past decade has expanded dramatically because of the introduction of multimedia. Several lines of research have evolved, e.g. cognitive load and multimedia learning. From multimedia learning theory, David Roberts has developed a large group lecture practice using PowerPoint and based on the use of full slide images in conjunction with a reduction of visible text. The method has been applied and evaluated in nine disciplines. In each experiment, students' engagement and active learning has been approximately 66% greater than with the same material being delivered using bullet points, text, and speech, corroborating a range of theories presented by multimedia learning scholars like Sweller and Mayer. The idea of media convergence is also becoming a major factor in education, particularly higher education. Defined as separate technologies such as voice, data, and video that now share resources and interact with each other, Media convergence is rapidly changing the curriculum in universities all over the world. Newspaper companies all over are trying to embrace the new phenomenon by implementing its practices in their work. While some have been slow to come around, other major newspapers like the New York Times, USA Today, and the Washington Post are setting the precedent for the positioning of the newspaper industry in a globalized world. News reporting is not limited to traditional media outlets. Freelance journalists can make use of different new media to produce multimedia pieces for their news stories. It engages global audiences and tells stories with technology, which develops new communication techniques for both media producers and consumers. The Common Language Project, later renamed to the Seattle Globalist, is an example of this type of multimedia journalism production. Multimedia reporters who are mobile are often referred to as mojos, from Mobile Joe and a list. Software engineers may use multimedia in computer simulations for anything from entertainment to training such as military or industrial training. Multimedia for software interfaces are often done as a collaboration between creative professionals and software engineers.
In mathematical and scientific research, multimedia is mainly used for modeling and simulation. For example, a scientist can look at a molecular model of a particular substance and manipulate it to arrive at a new substance. Representative research can be found in journals such as the Journal of Multimedia. In medicine, doctors can get trained by looking at a virtual surgery or they can simulate how the human body is affected by diseases spread by viruses and bacteria and then develop techniques to prevent it. Multimedia applications such as virtual surgeries also help doctors to get practical training. In Europe, the reference organization for the multimedia industry is the European Multimedia Associations Convention. Scholarly conferences about multimedia include Linear active content progresses often without any navigational control for the viewer such as a cinema presentation, nonlinear uses interactivity to control progress as with a video game or self-paced computer-based training. Hypermedia is an example of nonlinear content. A recorded presentation may allow interactivity via a navigation system, a live multimedia presentation may allow interactivity via an interaction with the presenter or performer. ACM Multimedia, IEEE International Conference on Multimedia and Expo